Quick Snap. This Quick Snap is one of five covering the fundamentals of defensive back play. It's a shorter part of an hour, 20 minute video that I put together that covers all the fundamentals that we coach our defensive backs to be able to execute. If you want to check that out, there will be a link to the description down below. Uh, I'll also put a link to all five videos that will be released through the course of the week so that way you can go check those out if you missed any of them uh, or you're looking forward to them as they come up. As mentioned, we're going to focus on defensive back fundamentals and in particular safety alignments and the keys and reads that that safety is going to get in both the pass and the run game. For safety alignments, number one way our safeties and, and all safeties have to line up is lining up deep. Uh, typically, we are in some sort of two high shell. Every once in a while, we will roll down and we'll be in a one high shell. But uh, So we don't line up extremely deep. We're expecting that safety to be able to, to play both pass and run from as short as eight yards off the ball. Um, down in distance, that'll back up to 10 or 12, but we want to be able to line up 8 by one inside a tight end, playing the first up and in, typically a, a, from a cover two when there's no detached receivers on the left there. On the right, um, lining up deep a little bit further inside, 8 by 2 inside of 2, key in 2 to 1 in our uh, two read or palms type coverage. Uh, this highlight, this ends up being really kind of a, a Zach Goodline highlight, really good safety for us. There, he's lined up deep. He's able to come across the, the opposite safety keys run too much because his tight end's blocking and never picks up the running back who's releasing through. Um, luckily, on the backside, you can see the tight end blocking. Zach gets over the top in position to undercut the ball, make an interception, turn around, go the other way. He makes about, I think he gets three interceptions by the end of this game. Once again, lined up deep. It's fourth and four. Our uh, inside linebacker, that's maybe a hold. It's all right. He's being physical, and, and that the ball gets overthrown. Tight end does not get a clean release off the outside linebacker or, or from the inside linebacker, and he uh, makes a, a big play on fourth down here. Um, we're going to actually, you'll see our, our one safety rolling down on the motion. So right here, Kenyon is the, the deep safety. He's keying all the trips. You can kind of feel and see, all right, my guy's hooked up. My, my, I'm keying two to one here. Two and three are both hooked up and, and, and blocking. So he actually makes a great play here. Gets all the way out to one. Matches him. And makes a great interception, uh, really out of trail technique for the most part there. Uh, complete slop, end of the game. Third and 11, T team needs to throw deep. Both safeties, they're backed up further than normal for the down and distance. And, and they're able to just sit on the ball, get the interception, and we partied up on the sidelines. Uh, get our fourth win, stay alive for, for a playoff chance. Um, outstanding play coming here. So the corner, it's a third and nine. Corner sinks, forces the quarterback to have to put extra air on the ball. Um, good horizontal stem from a deep position out of Zach coming over. And uh, we'll watch the end zone copy just because it's, it's, it's fun to see. It's fun to see guys go make plays. And he calls himself in because he says, my foot's down. Good deal there. Now, just because we're lined up deep and, and while our, our, this has mo mostly focused on uh, pass coverage so far, that, that deep safety still needs to come up and, and be able to defend the run. Um, right here, our, our, we unfortunately, our cornerback, he is keying, he, he, he loses the key of his near back. His near back's headed outside. He should be looking to fit outside of number 12. So um, our deep safety is actually coming down right there. And that's very similar to playing a crack replace, which we'll talk about shortly. Comes down and we spill all the ball all the way out to him. And really a decent roll tackle. I do not like where his, his helmet is because he's getting a thigh pad to the helmet, but... Zach comes down, makes the play from a, a deep position, lined up about eight yards off the ball. His tight end blocks. The back goes out wider, so he needs to he needs to continue to expand in case that back ends up in a route. The back hooks up, trying to block uh, the cornerback. And here comes the safety, gets a tackle on the legs, gives up a short gain. And now uh, deep safety, able to play on the ball. Two is vertical. He's playing two up and in. 
almost gets an interception. And one last uh, deep safety alignment here. There's Cody making a play in the end zone. Keep them out. I think we get a better shot here on the end zone cam. Okay. Cody's inside. He's super on top. Can't find a way to make a pick, but we're okay. Uh, next thing we asked our safeties to do, we're going we're gonna to play some man coverage. So we're, we'll typically press with the corners. Safeties are somewhere around 7x2, by 6x2 two, by two, um, off the number two receivers there. So they're 100% man-to-man. Typically, we're preparing this. As you can see, we're real aggressive with the front here. We're bringing six guys, adding one because the running back stays in. Corner gets good press, which forces this ball back a little bit faster. And our safety's coming downhill. We even get a hold out of the whole thing. Good play in the open field out of our uh, off-man safety. Real good hustle by Kenyon. A couple plays later, same game. Safety, uh, safety pulls his trigger right now. Tackle in the alley for loss. Real good play by uh, Mike here. Boom. Kind of same thing. Comes down, almost, almost gets the pick. Almost gets the pick here. And, and all he's doing, he's, he's ultimately working his horizontal stem. All right. Number two takes off outside. I got to take off outside. Peeks back at the ball because he knows he's got a little bit of leverage. And because he's aggressive, that lets our, uh, our corner almost gets involved there. Here we are. Safety's all over him again. A little help from the corner. End zone shot. You'll see the, the pursuit. There we go. We're working horizontal stem. Mike's coming down again. Corner's able to help out. We'll ask our safeties to roll down. Um, typically, if we get two back sets, the boundary safety will walk up and, and, and play four by four. Uh, really the same as our corners would play when, when we're playing cover two. Um, and then sometimes against uh, compressed trip sets, uh, when you got two and three, you got a tight end wing along with the wide receiver. We'll ask the safeties roll up and, and play uh, force so that way our outside linebackers can be spillers. So you're going to see top of the screen. We are uh, skied right now to the tight end side of a two back formation. Deep safeties key in that halfback. Doesn't do a great job, but. The down safety, which is what this clip's focused on, all right, down safety, pulls his trigger, forces a sack. Down safety again is on the bottom of the screen here, playing on the left side to the tight end side. We pinch inside, quarterback pulls. And he's hitting the pitch back before, really, uh, pretty much before the ball shows up. Ill-advised pitch by the quarterback. Running back ain't ready for it. Scoops it, scoops it up. Top of the screen. Right there. Our downs, that's actually a down safety. We'll see if we can catch it on the end zone cam. Yep, we should. So right there, you, you see the safety's communicating. One's rolling deep. The other one's rolled down. So it's a, a, a it's an on balance formation, a tackle over, all right? So we decided we're gonna sky to this. Safety carried uh, a, a, about a 10 yard out from number two, made a break on the ball. Gets us to the eight or nine yard line. Okay, here we uh, so we'll, we'll we'll check we'll check our our man to man coverage on um, when we get tripped. Sometimes we will trip it. We will uh, check to sky, so that way we can still bring the outside linebacker to the trips. 
and pretty good play by Drew forcing the ball back in. Uh, unfortunately, our pursuit from the inside is, is showing up late. We're really, really not in a great alignment there, but he does his job of forcing the ball back in. We got to get some help out of the uh, deep safety. We'll watch it from the end zone view. Um, right there, Cody's got to pull his trigger, get down in the alley, and, and help make the tackle here. So we, we give up too much yardage on that. So later on in the same ball game, same deal. We want to be able to apply pressure, have a lot of run run support. Great job now by uh, the down safety. Keep himself alive. And really, we need to either uh, check into and, and do something where we check that inside linebacker, get him a little wider, or or the outside linebacker. One of those two guys, we got to get in the alley as well as the, the deep safety. Just can't hang back as far. Not if we want to be aggressive here. And then the last thing that uh, last alignment that our safeties will get into is is being free, uh, eight eight by zero deep. We'll do this for two reasons. Um, number one, it's a way to put that guy in position to help with a really good number one. If there's somebody on the weak side of a of a two back formation, now he potentially can play that guy vertical. So he's he's keying two three one. You know he, he's gonna he's gonna peek in the backfield first and be helpful there. And then secondarily, he can he can help with with potential crossers. So right now, uh, that is the boundary side safety. So he's free. He has no vertical threat. Sees a cut. He he sees number number one go. He's immediately breaking. He's keying in the backfield. That's a 100% of pass. All right, so my two and three are both blocking. I can go help out on number one. Gets over there, breaks up the pass, almost an interception in the scrimmage. <laughs> Pick, picking on my, my defensive end here. He wanted to be in a two-point stance all year. Uh, we're free right now. It's a little, really more of an end of a half type situation, but here's, here's an example of... Uh, you know, if you're free, you're able to help out. Just not a good pass in that situation at all. Thanks for checking out this quick snap on Coaching Football with Brian Klee. Please follow me on Twitter at Coach Klee. Subscribe to the channel, Coaching Football with Brian Klee, by clicking down below. And if you have any further follow-up questions, email me at CoachBrianKlee at gmail.com.